How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Django. He says, hello, is it possible to only have one party member that the player can control and then have the other party members act independently? Such as when you get a guest character in various RPG games. And it is, let me show you how to do this. Simply go to your actor's database and on your guest character go to the traits and double click here and go to the others tab. Then you can click on special flag. Then under special flag you have a, a tag called auto battle. This is basically going to assign a simplified AI to the party member and they will act independently. AI will decide what it's going to do based on its skills and abilities. So if we see that we've got our white mage at level 10, I can go to our classes and take a look at our white mage. So up to level 10 we're going to have a few skills and abilities, but not too many. So we can take a look at how that will work. Added three characters with AI control and Driftwood without AI control. So right now the party is set to level 10 and the enemies are basically synced to level 10 as well. And I only have control over one of the characters. You see the, the battle started, Edmund went and started attacking before Driftwood got his turn. So apparently the monks got more agility. I have the ability to use the Dark Knight here since he doesn't have the auto battle tag. The other party members make up their own mind on what to do. Obviously, they're not gonna always make the best decision. And if you want full control, you're probably gonna be able to play better. But it does make it a little bit easier to control your party. Um, sometimes the black mage is going to melee attack and sometimes the white mage is going to cure the wrong person. They still do these things. They still cast their strongest magic on occasion and they still cure somebody who's about to die. But the AI is built in to make decisions. And if you're giving the party the ability to control two or three of, the, of your party members, then it kind of makes sense if you get a guest character that's not going to be with the party for a long time that they have the auto battle flag. It will make it easier on the player because they don't have to learn uh, all the skills and abilities of that actor. It'll make it the game kind of s roll along smoother quite a bit, especially if they have a lot of skills and abilities. And it will also make it a little bit more challenging because they won't have full control. They'll be at the mercy of RNG Jesus. See, at this point, I would hope the White Mage would see that Driftwood is under 50% life and could use a cure, but instead, the White Mage chose to uh, cast a Banish, which would just apply more damage. They also don't appear to use their main abilities. Oh, there she goes. She so she does see that Driftwood was pretty beat up and needed a cure, but it, she didn't do that immediately, so... It probably enters her pool of abilities, or but it's it's not a, a guarantee. Like if you have a, a white mage, it's not always going to heal you like it should. Um, so it's not a perfect system, but it is kind of cool to have uh, like one or two people controlled by the AI, especially if you have like large parties because you can have more than four characters. You could have a party of eight people if you wanted and you could have four of them AI controlled and four of them manually controlled would be an interesting concept. But I was able to win this battle with three AI controlled characters so it is a viable option to speed up the game and make it a little bit easier on the player as far as how many skills they have to learn and read. It makes the battles a little bit faster although maybe more difficult as well because the players the AI may not make the optimal choice. Let's up the level a little bit and try something different. Let's see how the AI handles it when they have even more options on hand. Not the best combo, still using Arrow when I think Stormy has Fire and as a Black Mage, and Mars is using her Staff Attack when she could be casting in uh, damage over time. That fire, so she does use her new skills.
Gotcha. At this point in the game, the party would have better gear than what I've given them. They still have level 1 gear, pretty much. But you can see the monk is using his TP move. It takes 100 TP, so he got to 100 TP and immediately used a move that would consume that 100 TP. So that was actually a very good call for the AI to do. So AI controlled characters, is it possible? It absolutely is. Is it going to make the game... Um, are they always going to play as a supercomputer and play ultimately super optimal? No, they're not going to. They're going to make mistakes, but so would you if you're playing them, most likely. So they don't make the AI make the best decisions, but they're not awful most of the time. So it is possible to, to do this. Hopefully you like this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys, and if it was, please give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to come talk to us and hang out in the Discord, I have a link to that in the description below. If you would like to back me on Patreon and support what I do on this channel, thank you so much for even considering doing that, and the link is in the description below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.